A vital highway and bridge that connect two central Arkansas counties could be getting a makeover. The Totesuck Dam Bridge on Highway 60 has had multiple floods over the past few years. And that's where we find Channel 7's Ashley Lunningham tonight. She joins us now from the bridge live. Ashley, tell us what you learned about this proposal. Yeah, Beth, uh, Conway Mayor Bart Castleberry tells me that this will have a positive impact on the city of Conway. But I spoke with Perry, Perry County Judge uh, Larry Blackman, who tells me the residents in the county are split, questioning if the inconvenience of construction outweighs the benefits of the area not flooding. Improvements could be on the horizon for Highway 60 and Totesuck Dam Bridge connecting Perry and Faulkner County. This discussion, Perry County Judge Larry Blackman says, started because since 2015, Highway 60 has flooded three times. But in 2019, the road went completely underwater and was impassable for seven to ten days. And there was a lot of uh, people wanting to change and make this road where it would not happen again. During an RDOT public meeting, they showed the preliminary designs to remedy that problem. Blackman says residents were split 50-50. That's because the new road will raise about six feet, which means the bridge and highway on the Perry County side will have to be raised as well. So this means the river bridge would be closed for approximately about three weeks. And so a lot of the local citizens are concerned of how it will impact their lives if that bridge is closed for a period of upwards to three weeks. Conway Mayor Bart Castleberry says Perry and Faulkner County residents use that bridge daily. Interstate 40 runs through Conway. If we had a large incident on Interstate 40 that shut down the interstate, and you also have the uh, Old Marlton Highway, Highway 64 West, that pretty well runs parallel to the interstate. If we had a large-scale incident there, then that would be really the only east-west uh, passage to, to get folks in for uh, get folks from Perry County to Conway for, for health care, medical care. So shutting the bridge down to improve it. That's what have people concerned. But RDOT is good about planning for contingencies and detours, and uh, I think if we do move forward with this project, that there'll be the plans in place that uh, make it as painless as possible. Now, Blackman says uh, there will be other things to consider for this project, including how much it will cost and where it will fit in a budget. Uh, if the project goes forward, RDOT estimates the start of the project could start around fall of 2026. In Perry County, on your side, I'm Ashley Lunningham.